so visual hallucinations is a very common experience. You're seeing, seeing something in the world that's not really there and it occurs in lots of different conditions. So probably the commonest is in eye disease. So patients who lose vision, they start to experience visual hallucinations and, and the, uh, the understanding we have of that is at a physiological level. So it's a change in the wiring in the visual pathways that leads to excitability and these uh, spontaneous activations in the brain give these experiences. But of course we have other conditions as well, so in Parkinson's disease and also in schizophrenia, you have visual hallucinations. And our understanding there is much more at a cognitive level, not necessarily a change in the visual system, but some other change in attention and, and perception, for example. The, the fascinating thing about hallucinations is that they, there is a brain explanation in terms of the physiology, and yet the experience that we have is in our consciousness. It's a perceptual experience. And for eye disease, at least, the hallucinations don't seem to be memories, they don't seem to be reactivated, stored visual experiences that we've had. They're much more like little uh, errors or glitches within the processes that we use every day to see objects and faces and figures around us. So they're not necessarily things that you've ever seen before and that's why they seem really bizarre. So we have uh, hallucinations of uh, distorted faces of figures in uniform, so it could be Napoleonic uniform or uh, aristocratic people from the French Revolution, so kind of things that have nothing to do with your personal experience but yet your brain creates these weird bizarre images for you.